Welcome to Haunted Hearse Exploring. This is our Halloween special, and as you can see, we're in a uh, small country cemetery right now. And we're gonna take you to a receiving vault, which was built back in the 1800s. And a receiving vault is basically a big above ground crypt where they stored bodies of people who died in the winter. The ground in the northern states gets so hard during the winter that they cannot physically dig the grave. And so what they would do is they would put these bodies, they would just stack them up in, in this receiving vault until the springtime when the ground thawed and they could then start to dig the graves. So we are on our way right now to try to find the receiving vault. Uh, we have explored it one previous time, so we think we know where we're going. We think it's down here. It's a beautiful fall day. Uh, as you can tell, it's nice and quiet in the cemetery, a lot of beautiful leaves. And there's the receiving vault right there to the left. You can see it. So we are, it's a beautiful building. We're gonna get out and take a look at the front. We're gonna look at some of the architecture. All right, we've got the hearse stopped. We're gonna get out and go take a look and explore it. Okay, let's get out the sun so we can show you a little bit better what it looks like. So this, let's get back a little bit. This is the receiving vault. As you can tell, it's beautiful architecture. If we swing down, take a look at the, the beautiful concrete steps, you can actually see where they're worn in the middle from being used from decades and decades actually all the way back into the 1800s and we're going to pan up here and show you the sign and we're going to zoom in on that yep. and you can freeze the uh, video if you want and you can read a little bit more about the receiving vault but let's take a look at some of the architecture here if you look above the door, you'll see the you'll see the classic symbol that represented death and the afterlife. In this case, it's a solar disk with wings. In some cemeteries, you'll see them as skulls that contain wings, especially in, in old cemeteries, for example, around Salem and so forth. And look at the beautiful urn right there on the left. I mean, solid concrete, worn from hundreds of years being here. Let's take a look up at the, the wooden door. And you can see it actually has a cross with that's actually a hole in the door. Let's go take a look in and see if you can see what it looks like. Yep, we're going to stick the phone right up there. Yep. And you can see what it looks like. It's basically just a big empty concrete room where they would stack caskets around caskets around caskets until the springtime when it thawed. And you can see in the back there's a ventilation hole window right there that would allow any smells and odors to, uh, to dissipate through the room. Again, very rare to see one of these intact. Let's take a look. You see the old uh, metal work and the old hinges built into the, uh, the concrete. Just a beautiful structure. And if you look up above the door, you can see the solar disk. Look how, I mean, it is magnificent work of architecture. Just a, a real concrete solar disk 
Uh, it's not flat, uh, it's three-dimensional with the wings off of it. Beautiful and very ornate. Look over here, you'll see some of the old ironwork that was used to build the crypt. Rusted, but it's there from the 1800s. And we'll come back out here for a second and we'll look right here actually maybe on this side where there's and you'll see it looked like kind of like a concrete frame we don't know what was in there we don't know if it was used for some sort of painting um, I'm not sure what it was used for but they've got one on both sides we'll take a look uh, right here at the sign one more time up close give you a little bit of history of the receiving vault and we should be close enough now where you can read that if you want to you can uh, uh, freeze the frame and take a look at it constructed in 1869 okay we're gonna take a walk around the side show you what the side looks like to help preserve it they actually buried uh, the sides uh, underground they threw uh, uh, some stones and and uh, dirt up around there and let's go take a walk up on the we're not going to go on the top but we'll go take a walk up the side and we'll show you what it looks like the top is just a flat surface See the top it's just nothing but a flat surface that's the front of the receiving vault so it literally is just a concrete square tomb that they would use to store bodies and it shows you how well this thing was built because uh, again it was built in uh, in the 1800s We're going to head back down the side. We're going to go around the back, show you what the back of it looks like. You can see the metal, the metal that was used uh, to keep the stones intact again because we're up north and it gets pretty cold and things can expand and contract and those metal uh, strips were used to keep the tomb from separating and there's the vent hole that we talked about that you saw through the door to allow fresh air in and any odors out So we'll go around the other side. We'll take a quick shot of the, the haunted hearse that we're using to tour the cemetery. There she is, thing of beauty. This is the other side of the tomb. And you can see how the winters have started to deteriorate the side. That's why these things are very rare. They, they date back to the 17 and 1800s. And if they're not maintained in good shape over time, they just deteriorate. All right, we're gonna head back to the front of the tomb. As we go down this steep hill. And we'll give you one last shot of the front of the receiving vault. A, an absolutely beautiful example 
of cemetery art from 1869. We hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, please like and subscribe. We'll have more uh, videos like this exploring the uh, cemeteries. And once again, there's a, uh, a shot of the haunted hearse that we're using uh, to go on our explorations. Uh, we'll give you a little bit more detail about her in upcoming episodes. Uh, so please like and subscribe and stay tuned. We're going to have some uh, uh, random footage uh, of the same cemetery showing you some of the different tunes some of the different uh, tombs that are out here. Take care.